I was hired by Arizona State University to come to Arizona to be the technical director of theaters at uh, Arizona State, and so I took that job uh, right out of, and I hadn't finished all my work at graduate graduate work yet, but I went anyway. And I had three kids, and I had to make a living, and and um, so I, I went down there and did that. Let me let me break in again. One of the things that George and I share is that uh, we both worked in in Arizona. I worked, I lived and worked in Arizona for thirty six years. Right, I knew and, your dad very well. Yeah. And and George, uh, uh, actually, he'll he'll get into this real soon. He actually got his uh, his card, his first IA card in uh, theater at uh, at Phoenix at local three three six. Exactly. Um, at any rate. Was Grady Gamage Theater being under construction when you first started oh, at, at you. Arizona State yeah, University? Thank you for that. That was one of the reasons uh, they needed some. They needed a new technical director there, because Gamage was under construction. That was the last year of construction, and um, so I correlated. I was designing sets. I was lighting all the shows and correlating the the final, like the setup of the shop and, and the equipment set up a Gamage Auditorium and um, for Frank Lloyd Wright's group. Frank Lloyd Wright designed that theater. So John Rattenberry and I have got to be very good friends. And later on, I became the theater consultant for, for Frank Lloyd Wright's group at Taliesin West and designed uh, their theater elements in their buildings. Grady Gamage Auditorium is on the campus of Arizona State University and it was designed by the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright Architectural right. Group, and it's a beautiful building, and it's mm -hmm. still still operational. It's the Broadway Theater House uh, in in the Phoenix metropolitan area, and Taliesin West, which you mentioned, is is sort of the Arizona Institute of the Frank Lloyd Wright Architectural Foundation. Floyd Hart, again, the notorious Floyd. I could tell you stories about him that I that I shouldn't. And Floyd's I, from I, up here in from, local yeah, local fifteen, local up 15, in Seattle. Yeah, he um, he wrote a. Uh, nice. Uh, well, to go back just a little further, I during that time I also was the first lighting director, lighting designer for the what was the opera at the time, which mm -hmm. was called the Seattle Seattle Symphony Opera, and I designed the lighting for La Traviata and uh, Hansel and Gretel. And Floyd took a liking to me, even though he didn't like college students. But so he wrote a three and a half handwritten paid three and a half page handwritten letter to local. 336 in Phoenix and gave it to me to take with me when I came down to Arizona and I gave it to the president Jack Austin was the president at the time and so they glommed down to me right away but it took me a while to uh, <clears throat> try to uh, figure out how I was, I was going to work for the local and be a, a teacher and run five theaters at the at the uh, at the Arizona State University <laughs> So George, after you uh, presented your letter of introduction to Local 336 in Arizona, mm -hmm. uh, how long did it take before you became a member of the IA? Well, I went down there in 63 mm -hmm. and became a member in 64, and, uh, but I was still teaching at the same time. And, um, but they took me in at, right in as a journeyman. Local had just been formed down there. Seven or so of the guys that were projectionists were interested in the stage work, and but had very little training in it. They knew how to pull it open and close the front curtain, and, uh, and that's about it. So I went in and started the apprentice training program right away with them, and, uh, and I became a member as a journeyman member right away uh, in a year, about a year. And, but so, soon after I got my card, uh, I'd been so enthralled with Hollywood and with television was big and uh, there wasn't as much work in Phoenix as, as we should have had, I mean, that we'd like to have had at that time. I commuted back and forth from Phoenix to Los Angeles and I'd stay in LA for three, two, three, four weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. I was also the secretary of the local. I was a secretary for 14 years. My goodness. <laughs> so, uh, so I had to come back, at least come back for the monthly meetings and uh, I'd, get, I'd get off a show at uh, ABC or NBC at midnight and then drive all the way to Phoenix and sleep part way, hopefully not driving, but um, got to Phoenix in time for the local, the meeting of the local, which is always on a Sunday morning, and uh, presented my, my report and took notes, and, and uh, by three or four in the afternoon I was on, in the car again heading back for Los Angeles 
on Sunday afternoon. And I, I so, should interject here, you know, that the International's full title is okay. the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, wow. Motion Picture Technicians, Allied Artists, and of the United States, its territories, and Canada. Well, you did very well with that. And <laughs> I'm not sure if I got it exactly right. It's it's a mouthful. It's, we we always it. refer to ourselves as IA or IATSE. Right. So you. Uh, worked in in several of the Allied crafts, so you have you have cards in how many affiliated <laughs> locals with the IA? Well, I've had uh, I have three cards right now, mm -hmm. but I've had I've had four. I was also a scenic and title artist in Hollywood at local eight eight sixteen before it disbanded, mm -hmm. and at that time I had a choice of going with the uh, prop local forty three forty four in Los Angeles with the prop department or with the scenic artists uh, in motion pictures. I liked Los Angeles, but I didn't really want to live there, and I didn't want to move my family there, so I, um, I elected to just not kind of carry on my card with 816. Mm -hmm. um, I did one week with the scenic artists just to see, or the, the, uh, the, the art directors, to see if I liked it. I worked on uh, Lost in Space for one week, hmm. and uh, part of that week I also worked on a movie called Sand Pebbles, Sand Pebbles, oh, sure. Sand Pebbles with Steve McQueen, and uh, so I got all excited about motion picture work, and so I um, went back and forth to Los Angeles, and and so I, the point is I, I resigned from the college, from the university, I, I, see. I, I was no longer with that. So now I'm a full-fledged uh, IA guy <laughs> since 1964, and um, I love it, <clears throat> and, and that's been, it's changed my life, and it's been my life all these years, and uh, I'm devoted to it, have been. You are my good friend, George, and I'm so glad to celebrate, help celebrate your 47th year in the IA, your 50, let's see, I think about 56 uh, years in, in entertainment. And I mm -hmm. appreciate you sitting, you know, for a conversation today. <clears throat> we're going to wrap this up, but we're going to continue our conversation and probably link that to this. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more of uh, George's work history and background, which I think is quite interesting, um, you know, you just follow the links and and you'll get to those stories. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.